Welcome back to another video, and today we have a couple of cars to sh I actually have a lot of cars to show you. Um, first off, we have the new Fast and Furious cars. I've gotten almost the entire set, all of them except for the uh, Ford, the that Ford, it's the Gran Torino. I have the SVT, the Lightning, but um, I'm here to show you all the cars I've gotten since the last video because I haven't been uploading much due to some unforeseen circumstances. Our lineup of cars, we, um, I got the new Matchbox Superfast uh, 74 Dodge Challenger and to be honest, I never knew there was a Challenger that looked like this. I really love this casting. And um, I'm pretty sure I may have already done a video on this. Like I've actually filmed about four videos but not just uploaded them because they were not up to my standard of greatness, I guess. But the Hot Wheels ID Chase here, also very nice. Um, but that's not the main, uh, that's not what we're going to be looking at this video. We're going to be looking at my Fast and Furious Premium. We'll start off with the Chevy 2 here. Well, it says Nova, but it says Chevy 2 on the front of the casting and on the front of the um, render, so I don't know what to call it. There it is. The paint on this definitely is very up to standard for um, premium castings. It looks kind of like Spectra Flame, a little less impressive, but still beautiful paint, an amazing deco. Here in New Zealand, this would be the uh, this is the most popular car, like everyone here thinks this is the best car in New Zealand, like the best car that's in the set, but the rarest is actually the Buick, uh, followed by the Ford, the Chevrolet, the uh, Impala, then the Torino, in order of rarity. The, I, everyone loves that Grand National, but this is definitely the fan favourite of the set here in New Zealand. The rendering is also very nice, it has you can also see the grey Chevy and um, Chevelle on the side. Next up we have the 71, 61 Impala. One of the best Impalas in my opinion due to the uh, the pillars there. They're sort of like a bubble. It's sort of like the um, a UFO due to the space race, I'm uh, assuming, maybe? I don't, I don't really the know. Impala on the turntable. The paint isn't very impressive. It's just normal old paint, but the casting and the detailing is actually Decently impressive to be honest. It's a, a very well detailed car, especially with the grill here. How they did that. And I just love the rear end of this um, Impala. Definitely my favourite year of Impala, to be honest. I love the, the I love the roof of it and everything. How it sort of is it's sort of like um, the A and B pillars have sort of been swapped around. Instead of it being a teardrop starting at the front and curving around at the back, it curves around at the front and slopes down at the back, sort of like reverse, if that's easy to understand. But also very nice wheels, I'll just put that up here with this. Um, but that's not all we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at this entire set. Uh, next up we have the Buick GNX or the Grand National, whichever you like to say. And uh, when it comes to black paint and Hot Wheels cars, fingerprints and marks are almost impossible to get out of the black paint. Black, it just it sticks really well, so you might see a little, it be a little foggy and fingerprinty and dusty. I'll just clean that up real quick. But as you can see, look, like, if you, when you get a fingerprint on it and you try to rub it off, it just smudges it. So um, just try not to touch that. But this and the Chevelle, ooh, those are some good cars to, in real life. I love that body style. I don't know why there weren't more cars of it, but uh, I love this car a lot. It's very attractive in my opinion. But y'all know about this car, so just put that down there. And uh, the next car in this set I want to take a look at is the, one of my favorites, it's the Ford Lightning. Uh, from Fast and Furious. Uh, I, when it comes to the Fast and Furious Premium, I don't get all of the cars. I get all the cars I like. The Ford in the set. Oh, oops. The Ford in the set, right there. If it'll focus. 
the Torino. Uh, it's a nice car, but the casting don't don't feel like don't, I don't feel like it does it justice. That was the basic right there, but more on the uh, Ford Lightning. I actually looked up the stats of this car because I was actually genuinely curious about how fast this thing could go. Decent acceleration and top speed, to be honest. Supercharged engine. Nice. Uh, I absolutely love how the tray, or the bed, whatever you call it, uh, sort of sits, like, has a lip up there. Instead of it being like this Hummer, for instance, it all being metal, or having a plastic base and then metal sides, it's got this big plastic tray in it. And I, I kind of like that. Um, now that would be all from this set, but we're not just going to take a look at that Today set. we're going to take a look at all my Fast and Furious sets, from the off-road sets, to the throwback sets, to the OG sets, and um, other sets. I'm pretty sure I have more sets over there, yep. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a quick montage, I don't know what to call it, but I prepared this pretty cool looking. Uh, montage, I'm gonna say, of all these Fast and Furious cars. watching i'll see you guys in my next video uh, uh comment if you can what you thought of this i'll see you later bye